Hi, I'm Peterson Goodwin from DIY Recording Equipment, and today I'm going to give you a brief rundown of our OLA5 optical compressor. So the OLA5 is a single uh, mono compressor for the 500 series, and it's a real mix of tradition and some new design ideas. So it, by tradition, I mean that it is, as the LA part of the name suggests, in that line of compressors, the LA-2A, the LA-3A, um, that the ones that are kind of famous for being so smooth, so natural, so, uh, this term gets bandied around a lot, but musical. They, they one, one person put it really well, that they kind of seem to hear music in the same way that an ear does. Um, and so it's very much in that tradition, but it departs in some ways that make it really unique. The first of those is that while it is a painstaking reproduction of LA series compression, it is not the LA series compressor you're thinking of. The LA-2A and the LA-3A kind of get all the glory, but the LA-4, their kind of little brother, is a really cool and I think criminally underrated compressor. When it came out, you know, chips had just started being a thing, and so they put these kind of very early kind of primitive chips in there that degraded the signal path, made it a little bit muddy, uh, a little bit, the slew rate was a little slow, so it sounded kind of dull. And that's the kind of thing that has made it kind of a, an eccentric choice. Some people love it for that, but it certainly never rose to being a classic like its big brothers. And I'm, I think the OLA5 goes a little way to correcting that because the compression circuitry itself of the LA-4 is really cool. It can do some interesting kind of vibey stuff that the, uh, the other ones don't do. It has a bit of a faster attack. It has a more dynamic release, meaning it can release really quickly at first, depending on how much signal you give it, and that tapers off. So you can do some really interesting things with it. Um, but we needed to address the signal path. So that's the second place where we depart from tradition here we have paired the LA-4 compression circuitry with a very different tradition uh, of the kind of American console sound. So those of you with uh, eagle eyes will have seen the 2520 style discrete op amp here and this honking uh, output transformer, which is custom wound for us. And these are the trademarks of that kind of punchy mid forward American console sound. So what you've got here in the OLA-5 is uh, quite an interesting uh, match of LA-style compression with American console vintage-style sound. But uh, we've given you another tonal option here too, which is that with these uh, jumpers, no soldering required, you can switch back and forth between the vintage sound and a more modern, uh, very transparent sound. So that is, I find to be very useful sometimes if you just want the kind of leveling effects of the compressor without the tone. Because uh, that tone, while it's great, isn't perfect for every mix. So we've given you the option there to kind of disable it. So, the controls are very familiar to anyone who's familiar with the LA series compressors. We have threshold and gain, and that's where things uh, kind of depart from the tradition. We also have added a high pass filter uh, into the side chain, a limit and compress switch. So by default, the OLA5 is a two to one, very gentle compressor. With limit engaged, it's either four to one or 12 to one. That's something else that we've let you set yourself here with another jumper. So with that 12 to one, you can get quite aggressive and get some really colorful tones out of it, which is why we've added a mix knob. Now I myself, when we were designing this, certainly did not think that an, an optical compressor was ever going to need a mix knob, but that was before I really got to know the character of the LA-4. And uh, what really convinced me was kind of crushing a bass track, so really turning up the threshold, putting it on 12 to 1, and then mixing that in a bit with the dry signal, and it just made things kind of thick and and flavorful. It gave this kind of uh, this harmonic saturation to the transients that made really made them uh, jump out, made that that uh, that pick uh, transient jump out in a way that just doing it in compress or with a little bit less compression and no mix 
didn't do. So it's, it's a flavor I'm really glad we added, a, or a, a feature rather, that really I think expands what you can do with optical compression. So that is the OLA-5, kind of traditional basics with a bunch of added uh, sonic options and functionality. And we sell it as a DIY kit or fully assembled uh, right here in our workshop in Philadelphia. So that's the OLA-5, thanks.